Hey guys, Cage Ray Saw here. Back at you with another Thrift of Me video. We got little Miss Jenna over here playing with her toy. She didn't like me to take it from her. Uh, we're gonna go to five or six thrift stores that I went to and hopefully I can show you all the profits that I found. This is St. Vincent de Paul in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I find a couple items at this thrift store for this day. That, those DVDs that I just showed and then this little card game thing, it's Family Guy related. I'm also gonna take y'all around the store showing y'all some other stuff that's at the store. It's random seasonal stuff right here. You know, nothing I usually pick up unless I see it. Like, this is where I found the really good blow molds at one time. This one's the one on Starring or SN Lane if you're in the Baton Rouge area. Uh, if you see something you like, uh, just when this is actually, I think, from today or from yesterday. This is from Wednesday filming. So it'll probably still be there if you see this on Thursday and want to go pick it up. <laughs> but I don't see anything that I've, that shows any interest to in me in terms of picking it up. But those are the two items to pick up for this video. So at their store number one, y'all saw me pick up two items. Um, there was no price tag on the first item I picked up. This James Bond through the decades, I guess you can call it. It's 50 years of James Bond, 1962 to 1981, and 1983 to 2012, the last one being Skyfall. Um, how many of y'all have seen all the James Bond movies? <laughs> I know I haven't. <laughs> I haven't seen very many of them, actually. I think I've seen like Casino Royale, maybe Quantum of Solace, and Skyfall, and maybe a couple of the other ones, but I'm not big into James Bond. But this one, uh, there was no price on it, like I said. The lady charged me $5 for it, which is a pretty good price. Most of the ones listed are listed as new instead of used. So, unfortunately, <coughs> sorry, I couldn't really get a price exactly on what it's going to sell for. I think they'll sell for between $45 and $50, and they can ship media mail because it is DVDs. The other item I found for 2 bucks was this thing of cards. It's a Paw Tucket Patriot Ale. I guess it's some kind of beer they use on Family Guy. The, my Probably my least favorite show ever. Uh, whenever I was in college, my freshman year at Louisiana Tech, my roommate watched Family Guy until 2 a.m. Not fun. <laughs> and that's why I had a private room after that. <laughs> but yeah, this thing is probably worth around $25 to $30 in new condition. There weren't many listed, and there weren't many sold either. So I think there was like one listed and two sold, something like that. So it's pretty good sell through rate. And it's still, this one's new in the packaging. The one that sold was like a pre-owned one. So I can probably get 25 to 30 for this. That's it for stop one. This is Goodwill in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. One of the four or five Goodwills that we have. This is the one I go to the most. I find this cool Clippers hat. It's a collab with Marvel. And then this Harry Potter 4D puzzle. It's 892 pieces. So yeah, that'll take somebody a while to do. I actually looked that up on Amazon. I actually had to apply to be able to sell it on Amazon while I was in the store just to make sure I could sell it because selling it on eBay wasn't really worth it at six bucks. Um, the return on eBay wasn't. I'll discuss that a little bit more in the summary. But uh, yeah, that it was worth selling it on Amazon. Here's some more of the items that are at this store. I'm just going to show you some of the new racks that came out. They're show right here. That's what they. That's how they do new stuff at the Goodwills in my area, at least at this store. I didn't see anything today on those that were worth it, but I actually found some stuff that wasn't worth it, that wasn't on those racks that was worth it. So it was out on a previous day that I picked up today. Second thrift store, I picked up a hat and a board game, as y'all saw, or puzzle, I guess you can call it that technically. This Los Angeles Clippers hat, I did pay up for this. I paid $6 for this thing. I didn't want to pay that much, but it's a very cool collab. Anytime you see a collab, which means, you know, it's, the Clippers or an NFL or an NBA team partnering with some other thing. Like I've sold Chicago Cubs and Notre Dame before for really good money, like 90 bucks for a hat. <laughs> this one's probably worth around 30 to $40 based on the worth point. There weren't many, there were actually weren't any of these sold on eBay. So that's where worth point comes in uh, good. I do have a worth point subscription. I do think it's worth it if you are full-time reselling and actually go, going out a lot and researching stuff, especially for storage units because storage units, um, there's a ton of what you're going to get. So I could get something that I never, have no idea the sales history of, and I can look it up on there. Especially if you're selling like antiques or glass, it's also a very good way to look up stuff. And I think worth point, I've seen some people discussing it on Facebook recently saying, oh, it's not worth it at all. I think it's worth it for sure. And you can write it off as well. This is the Los Angeles Clippers hat collab with Marvel slash Hulk, Red Hulk. Like I said, 30 bucks. It's new. I think a brand is New Era. So it's not anything special, hardwood classics. It's not like it's sports specialties, like I've said before. If you ever find sports specialties, you should definitely pick it up. Or some random, you know, collision or lightning pattern on the top of the hat. But yeah, this one's worth 30 to 40 bucks. Other find was this. Shout out, Past Parts of Pizza Pie is K. Harry Potter. Some people are obsessed. I think they call themselves Potterheads, maybe. Is that what y'all call yourselves? I don't know. Um, this will be sold on Amazon. It is new in the packaging. I had to apply to get approved to sell this on Amazon before I bought it because it's 
It was 599 along with the hat. They were both 599. This will come off very easily with Magic Eraser. And like I said, it's new and it's sealed. So anytime I can find new and sealed, I will look it up on Amazon first. It's going for around 50 bucks on Amazon new. And uh, on eBay, it was going for like 30 or 35, something like that. But yeah, this is definitely going into Amazon FBA. And that's it for that stuff. This was kind of cool to see at this thrift store. KFC Fire Log. It wasn't there the next day I went, so somebody did pick it up. It was new in the packaging. In theory, a couple years ago it would have been worth it. That's the one item I do pick up, that glove. Anytime you see Wilson A2000 or 2800, or even just a Wilson glove in general that has A2000 of some sort, you should probably look it up and pick it up. Because that one's not worth as much. It does have a little bit of damage, as you might have seen there. I'll show that a little bit more in the summary. That's a new cart, like I said in the previous clip. And the new carts are always sitting right there. This is the same Goodwill I went to in the previous clip. Uh, nothing that I see in particular other than those items. I've already pretty much scanned through the store. I'm just showing y'all some more stuff. I do look at that pot or pan. wasn't worth it based on the brand. I don't think it was at least. If it was, let me know. <laughs> but based on my previous sold history of stuff like that, it wasn't worth picking up. I don't see any mugs today. And usually the toys are on the right. But I didn't see any toys either, so... That's it for this clip, um, and I'm going to come up with a summary of what these items are worth. So this stop, which I think is another Goodwill, you also me pick up this glove. It's the Wilson A2800. The best glove, I think, one of the best gloves to pick up is Wilson A2000, for the Wilson brand at least. It's a catcher's mitt, I think. This is the first baseman glove, as you can see right here. It does have some use to it, and it does have one flaw that I will disclose in the listing. I haven't listed it yet, but because um, I'm just waiting to see y'all's opinion, actually. What would y'all do with this? I know I should disclose it, but would you try and fix it yourself first? I don't think it's gonna be too easy to fix. Um, I know you have to basically undo this and re you know get a whole new string or whatever you call that <laughs> to redo it. Someone else can do that, I think, because right now if you try and catch it, I think the ball would just go right through. You can see there's kind of a big gap there with the ball with that gone. So the baseball would probably just go straight through. But someone will be able to fix this. Um, in really in nice condition with not out any uh, flaws, it's probably worth 100 150 bucks somewhere in that range. I could probably sell this for around 60 to 70 maybe. I'm not sure exactly, but I think it's definitely worth picking up for four bucks. As you saw, that's what it cost at thrift stores four bucks. I almost picked up that little KFC fire log just to use it here, but we don't get cold enough here to use it. We did uh, when over Christmas, but I wasn't here. I was in North Carolina during Christmas, so. <laughs> but. Yeah, I think it, at one point that was the rage. If you you know, heard me talk about it in the voiceover a little bit, those were really popular at one point. I think you get them at Walmart. They resold pretty well, and there was a little bit of value to it still. Um, but I didn't feel like shipping something that big and just fooling with it. So that's why that one all I picked up was a glove. But that glove's worth around sixty to seventy bucks. If you'll ever see this blanket slash pattern anywhere, you should pick it up. These are ones I've sold in the past, so I know exactly. To pick it up i know it's worth a decent amount of money over 50 bucks probably closer to 100 bucks for that one anytime i can th fit, find those i'm going to pick them up this is america's thrift store in baton rouge as well all these are in baton rouge this is just scanning through the blankets like i was doing and all of a sudden i saw that one i do look at that one as well i think i did find it was canon was the brand if y'all know canon's a good brand i tried looking it up i couldn't find anything on it so i pass on it this right here might be my best find for everything in this video y'all saw it in the actual clip this blanket right here with the, like the baby the bear the puppy and the balloons and the little butterfly could be worth over two hundred dollars based on one comp i saw I'll throw it up right here if i can find it if not then just take my word for it there was a comp i'm not sure if it's real or not but it was this color the ivory color with the pink lining y'all seen me sell these before the reason i know about this is from buying a storage unit <laughs> the best storage unit ever that i bought had two of these in it pink and purple one sold for i think like 55 one sold for about 80. i think one sold on ebay one sold on mercari or poshmark or something like that but what i'm saying is i just happened to be going around the america's thrift store i paid eight bucks for this or so and i just happened to see it out of the corner of my eye i don't always look at the blankets i usually just scan by the blankets and see if i see anything that kind of stands out and yeah this stood out because i recognized it it's like a mink it's what it's called mink something with baby with a uh, bear puppies and balloons and uh yeah if you ever see this pick it up it's worth good money for sure i throw it like i said i throw some comps up i've sold them in the past storage units is how i know about these and that just happened to be a day where i went by and saw it so yeah blankets good money this may be my least favorite thrift store in the baton rouge louisiana area now I've tried to pick up some recently. They changed the prices to 4 for $2. They used to be 5 for 
four for two dollars for small which is all of these those four right there are considered small the Jessie was not considered small. She considered medium, so she's two dollars by herself for some silly reason. I don't know why you wouldn't do ninety-nine cents for the mediums and then fifty cents for the smalls. Whatever their prices are, they're going to be stuck with a bunch of plush for a long time because they don't apparently don't want to get rid of them. And yeah, that's why I don't like that thrift store anymore. And it's a decent drive to get there, so I'll probably stop going to that thrift store from now on because it's just not worth it to go that far for stuff that I'm not going to get. Now, I look at the blankets here and don't find anything. So this is the store that I used to like. It's in Walker, Louisiana. It's a Goodwill in Walker. They used to have plush five for a dollar. Now they have four for two dollars, but it's only small ones. So this thrift store I'm not a fan of anymore. So I did get four, as y'all saw in the clip. <laughs> I showed the four that I got. I wanted to get a lot more. I had a lot more in my cart. I took them up to the front. The lady said, oh, those are medium. And mediums are two dollars. You'd think they would do mediums for 99 cents. You know, because the small ones are basically 50 cents for for $2. The medium ones are $1.99. The big one, the large ones, large, are $2.99. And that's anything, basically. So you could have a huge four-foot plush, and it's $2.99 apparently. I don't know. I got this little sloth jelly cat. He's worth around 20 to 30 bucks, even, really, surprisingly. <laughs> little sloth. I didn't even realize what he was until I saw the jelly cat tag. So jelly cats are pretty good money. This little one's Pixie. It's a Beanie Boo with the tags. Uh, with the tags always helps it sell, even if you don't, can't call it new anymore because usually there's some kind of damage to the eyes. But I got that one. Uh, Mr. Munch, I think this is from Chuck E. Cheese, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Mr. Munch is from Chuck E. Cheese. I don't think it's Grimace. Like, Grimace and this guy kind of look similar. Grimace from McDonald's, but he has an M on his chest, so I'm thinking it's Mr. Munch. And then this little one, I, I did enough research to know that it's not U.S. based, but I'm not sure exactly what it's from. But it's some kind of game. I think it's probably some kind of video game or something. But uh, it's all the tags are in foreign. I, I did Google Lens it and looked it up, so it was worth picking up. And then the last one I picked up was this Les Paul uh, Xbox 360 controller. It does have this little thing in the back, so it can the neck comes off easily. So shipping will be a lot easier on this than some other ones where they don't where it doesn't come off. Now can I get it back in? <laughs> There we go. Uh, it's Les Paul. It's got a really cool graphic there. So I had to pick this up. And there is no back cover on that, unfortunately. But I still think it was worth paying. I think I paid like $2.99 or 3 bucks for this. It was over at least $50. Probably a little bit more than that. Some comps, uh, comps were all over the place for these kind. I didn't find one exactly with this pattern. It doesn't look like it's stuck on, per se. But, yeah. That's it for this one. Back at Purple Cow, y'all have seen me talk about it in previous Thrift With Me, so I think this is the first clip from Purple Cow in this video. The one item I pick up is that Quick Souls right there. Quick Souls Kingdom. I think it's a, it's got a decent amount of pieces. It looks new to me based on that tape. I don't actually have it to show in the summary, so take a good look at it right there, because that's how I can uh, kind of determine if it's new or not. Uh, there's a bunch of plush, but I don't see any today this day that I pick up. And here we go through the Purple Cow section. All the media is right there to the right. All the men's clothes is to the right. I used to go here a lot to get clothes. I used to spend seven or eight bucks on a piece of clothing. Can't believe I used to do that. Man, I lost so much money doing that. Well, technically I haven't lost it yet because I haven't listed them. <laughs> I need to get to the all the clothing I have stacked up in the in piles and boxes that I gave up on whenever I started doing hard goods and stuff because hard goods is way easier to sell. Also look at the hats. I always look at the hats here. None of those are worth it. They're all Those are all youth hats and they didn't have any special pattern to them. So... They used to be 50 cents here, but now they're a dollar. So I pass on all the hats for today. So this thrift store, I find one board game. Again, this one looks sealed as well. It's Quixels Landscape or some kind of landscape, whatever. This is at Purple Cow. The next clip is also from Purple Cow. So I went there two days in a row. These are the items I found when I was there. This one, I think I paid $1.99 for the board game slash, you know, whatever you want to call that. It's worth around 30 to 40 bucks if it's actually new. I need to do a little bit more inspecting, maybe find one that looks new and see where the tape is on that one. That's that one way you can kind of tell if it's new or not. Because sometimes you can't really tell if someone just taped over. This one's almost too uniform in terms of tape and there's too much tape on there for it not to be new, I think. Um, but yeah, 30 to 40 bucks for that. And that was it for that stop. Last clip for this video. I actually just went here today as I'm doing this voiceover. So this is fresh on my mind in terms of what I found. I found this really cool Basset Hound Homco statue, I guess you could call it. And then it also found a Mickey Mouse hand. <laughs> that was actually discounted 75% off. I debated that Enchanted Cupcake Party. They didn't have all the pieces. Otherwise, it probably would have been worth it to pick up for probably would have cost $2 because board games are $2 here. 
I did pass on it for that day. I do look at all the plush. No plush that are new from the previous day, really, that I saw. I've looked at those bats before. There's nothing new there. None of that stuff is new. So that's it for this clip. So at the final thrift store, which is also Purple Cow, like I said, found two items. This one, I only paid 25 cents for this. This is Mickey Happy Holidays hand. I really couldn't find much information, or not information, but much sales history on this. So I don't know. But for 25 cents, I couldn't pass it up. I guess it was discounted because of Christmas. But it's got like the little jingle bells on there. I'm getting Jenna's attention in there. Uh, but yeah, it says Happy Holidays, and it's a Mickey hand. So for 25 cents, I couldn't pass that up. And then the other one I got, y'all saw it in there. This Homco is the brand, 1983, I believe, is what it says back here. I think it's, yeah, 1983. Anytime I pick up one of these, for this is four bucks. It's a Basset Hound, so <laughs> people that have Basset Hounds would love buying this. Uh, it will be, it is, does weigh a decent amount. Let's see. How much does it weigh? I'm going to weigh it. Right, five pounds. So yeah, this will wait. This will t cost a little bit to ship, but I can just you know add plus shipping on big items that c that weigh a lot. I mean, I usually do plus shipping because if it's uh, if it sells to someone in Alaska, it's going to cost a lot to ship. But if it sells to someone in Louisiana, like the last couple things I've sh sold that were big items, this is a little bit off track, have gone to Texas and Louisiana. <laughs> so really easy shipping for me. But yeah, this thing worth probably 30 to 40, maybe a little bit closer to 50. Just depends on the condition and the correct buyer. And the eyes are in really good shape too. So yeah, really good piece there. And that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for coming along for all these thrift stores. I think I did seven total in this video now that I'm actually looking at it and about to do the voiceover part. So uh, yeah, let me know your favorite item. Mine's definitely that baby blanket. Uh, can't ever pass those up anymore after I know how much they're worth now. And who would have thought? storage unit is why I know about it. And now you know about it because you watch my videos because I did a storage unit on it. Uh, and subscribe now subscribe. Thanks for watching.